that we've brought everything together under one theme. So all of our performances are relating to our political dance project. So we're focusing on the era, the 1930s in America, where this young art form of modern dance was really fueled and validated by uh, its alignment to the political climate of the day. The young pioneers of modern dance took up the cause of the oppressed and downtrodden from civil rights to workers' rights to the financial crisis to the rising fascism in Europe. And their, their work, their, this new dance form that they had created, was a potent political force. on the anniversary of 9-11 a few years ago and we invited these young choreographers to create um, short dances for the company that were based on Martha Graham's iconic solo lamentation. Um, and they turned out just beautifully, each very different, different voices, different artists creating them. Um, but they resonate, they resonate just like Martha's lamentation resonates. One of the first times I did it was in Brooklyn. A lady came back to me afterwards and looked at me. She had a very white face and she had obviously been crying. And she said, you will never know what you have done for me tonight. Thank you. And left. I asked about her later. It seemed that she had seen her child, her nine-year-old son, killed in front of her by a truck. They had made every effort to make her cry and she was not able to cry. But when she saw lamentation, she said she felt that grief was honorable and that it was universal and that she need not be ashamed of crying for her son. City Company and Martha Graham Dance Company fell in love with each other. We immediately could recognize ourselves in each other. Our vocabulary is a little bit different and uh, our training is a little bit different, but the, the basic connections just opened everybody's hearts and minds and they jumped into this collaboration. Janet. Eilberg came up with the idea of the two companies collaborating and me directing for American Document, which makes the most sense because it's a piece which has language, has speaking, had originally in 1938 an actor. Martha Graham and her early work, American Document, was sampling important American pieces uh, of our national profile and bringing them together to help us ask who are we as a country and this new version um, created by Ann Bogart and City Company is also a sampling of different American elements that allows us to consider what is it that makes this country what it is. We had about five minutes of filmed material from the original dance, which we 
took apart and used a great deal. The spirit of what Martha was both going through politically and, and creatively was is, is similar. And there are sections in the piece which talk about war, but not the wars that Martha was looking at, but rather the wars that we're looking at now in Iraq and Afghanistan. So I think the parallels are spiritual and intentional, if not um, exact. This piece, American Document, is interesting to be part of because um, it's causing all of us to ask a lot of questions. It's not an easy piece in many ways. Um, a lot of the text that we're using stimulates all these questions that are very important ones to, to be talked about. I built a railroad, made it run, made it race against time. Once I built a railroad, now it's done. Brother, can you spare a dime? 